Real quick, uh, Neo Light's Wrath update preview. We will be getting a preview stream this this Friday, I think. Hang on, let me check the Discord. I've got I've got the inside scoop. The inside scoop. Poopity scoop. Where is the inside scoop? De whooped. No, not this one. Where is, it? Where is it? Oh, this one. This one. Uh, seven sixteen. Yeah, this Friday there'll be a. Uh, well, there'll be a stream. I don't know if it's going to be preview. I think so. I think it's going to be stream preview. So keep that in mind, you know, make sure you tune into the Maple Story stream and then maybe if they raid me afterwards, definitely stick around. Refresh chat first. I don't think they're gonna work yet. Okay, uh, Light's Wrath. Uh, prepare for an adventure across a vast desert where Hotel Arcus lies. Oh, I already wrote it with a C, so that stays. Yeah, okay, just a bunch, bunch of people pointing at each other in the chat, <laughs> okay. Uh, with this new addition to Grandis, a new sacred symbol will be available, nice. New boss Saren will become available to fight, but be cautious of the challenge that awaits because nobody in KMS has even killed this boss yet. Even KMS non-reboot hasn't killed it yet in the six months that has been out there. Beast Hammer and Zero Class is returned for creation and Terror Burning Plus event continues to help you level a new character to level 200. Be sure to play to visit Neo Castle as new activities will be introduced. Which reminds me, exclamation mark events will be updated by one week because it is now Wednesday. Which means this one will be hidden. Boop. Which means it's the last week for a lot of this stuff. And then, you know, next week that will disappear. But then a bunch of other stuff will take its place. So I'll just update the events when that happens. New sunny Sundays, all of that good shit. With the Arcus explored land beyond the walls of Cernium. On your journey for clues and the ancient gods, you will find your way into a vast desolate desert. The home of Hotel Arcus. Um, cool. This is a huge train, by the way. Uh, complete each quest hotel Arcus has to offer, and you'll earn a new sacred symbol, Arcus. Wow. While growing stronger in the desert, you will receive a new medal for completing all of the hotel Arcus quests. Are you ready for the challenge? Okay, medal, as always, is garbage. Symbol is really, really good. 500 strength and 10 uh, sack immediately. However, the monsters in this area need a lot of sacred power and are incredibly high leveled so this is the area where if you are 270 even at 270 and you're really really strong and game viable you will need to party up to do these dailies or they will take forever so just a heads up Lubo Saren, after the battle in Cernium, a former ally has turned upon the champions of Maple World. Spoiler! It will take all your strength to challenge God Incarnate Saren. Mitra's Rage, a new emblem that is part of the pitched boss set effect, can be obtained from defeating Saren. That is a level 200 emblem, so technically you can get 13 10 10 rolls. Uh, so if you're a giant whale, you can go for that. But again, it's probably going to take months before this boss gets downed. TMS will probably like kill it in 3 seconds though. Um, if you find yourself with a Mitra's Node Stone, it will unlock the new 5th job skill, Solar Crest. You have, uh, you have faced the Black Mage, but are you prepared for Light's Wrath? Very spoopy. Uh, this is another similar skill with its own Node Stones, very similar to the Will skill, the True Ragnar Reflection. Only drops from this one to unlock the skill, and only drops again to level it up. So, hopefully in the last 6 months, you've bought out all the experienced Node Stones you can, and save those up if you're an endgame player, so that you can have a bunch of experienced Node Stones ready to go to level up the skill as soon as you get it, probably in several months. Um, better Maple, with each new update to Maple Story, we continue to bring new improvements and new features with more convenience and enjoyment. As part of Neo Life's Wrath, we're adding a handful of improvements, ranging from Cube and Rebirth Flame obtainment to Legion Coin Shop changes. Players in Reboot will now be able to exchange droplets to receive their desired choice. These are only a few of the changes we're making. So these were changes that were actually planned for the September update, but because of how important they are, um... Uh, GMS has started experimenting with taking features from later updates and releasing them even sooner after the KMS release. So if this all goes well, this might be something that they do more often, which would mean that we are closer in the cycle to KMS with key updates, which would be interesting. Um, the other thing, so the thing is that we will cube and rebirth flame obtainment. They say uh, improvements, but this means, what this means is that all cubes and all flames 
Well, maybe a cults, but like no Master Craftsman and no Meister, no Powerful Flames and no Eternal Flames at all will drop any more from bosses. None. So, they call it an improvement, but if you get most of those right now from bossing, you're actually kind of going to get screwed. Um, Legion Coin Shop is where those cubes and those flames are going to go. So, you'll still have access to them, you're just going to have to pay Legion Coins now, which you're all... You're all swimming in 100,000 Legion coins anyway, right? So it's an, so it's an improvement. Um, also reboot, yes. Uh, but the flames, regular powerful flames, are going to be added to the drop table of monsters, of regular monsters when you're training. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Um, yeah, hopefully that's enough to offset the bossing. But depending on how you play the game, this might be a huge nerf, might be a huge buff. It kind of depends on what you're doing. Uh, and then the droplet stone exchange means that the area droplets that you find from regular monsters in lucid and in will can be exchanged one to one with an NPC an uh, infinite amount of times. So you can use that to buy items from the correct shop and this also makes it so that all of the droplets you can buy out from the shops right now, you can basically just add them into one big pile to one big number. The thing that's still going to be important, of course, is how many lucid boss droplets and will boss droplets you get to be able to, you know, make the coins for the for the specific shop. But you will be able to train wherever, and we already knew that this was coming, so people have already started, like, with the Kana Farmer, right? The main value was that you could get all of the arcane droplets and afford to buy all of the pieces that you have to buy from the lucid shop. Um, those people have already started training in uh, Limina and everything, and you can still get the droplets there, get the will droplets, and just exchange them around and still buy all the items that you need on your main character at least. Uh, Terror Burning, part two, uh, Burning Plus Part 2, of course that's already been announced in the event calendar, that was already part of the first, uh, of the first real patch. But just the same thing again on another character. This does mean that the burning... Um, uh, the burning and the chance to get all of the rewards on your current burning are going to end when this one starts. So like the extra node stones and stuff are up to 210. It doesn't end the chance to get the Absolab weapon up to 220. You can do that even with your first burning character all the way until the end of the second burn. So all the way until the end of uh, August 24th. BCM at zero creation event. I feel like they already mentioned that. Uh, returning for creation once again. Could either or both classes and get useful link skills. Yep. Very nice link skills. And Legion buff, of course. Legion buff for zero. Very, very important. 10% experience. Uh, both classes will be available to create in all worlds, including Reboot and Burning World. And um, in KMS, they with this, they made zero permanently available in Reboot. They are not mentioning that here. So it's possible that they don't do that. It's still possible that they do. So I'm not sure. 10% EXP. Yeah. If you check exclamation mark links, you can see all the link skills and all the buffs of all the characters in the game. And uh, the... Uh, Legion buff for zero is top tier for getting more EXP and leveling up your entire account. It's very useful. New activities are taking place within Neo Castle, so be sure that there are going to be new events, new capping skill, new stuff like that. So um, we might see some preview on that on the official Maple Story stream this Friday. So make sure you tune in to um, twitch.tv slash MapleStory. And hopefully we will, uh, I don't know what time exactly, what time they usually stream. They usually stream for like an hour or two. So keep an eye on that next Friday. All right. Just a quick update. Uh, we will get the full patch notes next week. Of course, we already know like 90%, 95% of what's going to be in there. Uh, or, you know, everything from KMS basically is just going to get copied over. We already went over the KMS patch notes, of course, six months ago. Um... So, but we'll go again, go over it again in detail for for GMS to make sure that any dis, uh, differences get highlighted, and there might be still, and maybe that's something to ask this Friday. There might be some extra upcoming changes concerning um, Kana and totems, just spawn in hunters in general. So, if you have any questions, uh, throw them up then. Also, if you have not the best eyesight, this looks like you forgot to put in your contacts or your glasses aren't on properly, like the the squiggly line letters. It's kind of fucking with my eyes, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so just a quick update, and um, I'll see you guys maybe Friday.